What's up, y'all? GZM here. Now, we all buy clownfish and anemones with the intentions of them hosting each other. But sometimes that's easier said than done. Here's the truth about the process. You can't handle the truth! Some clownfish will simply never host an anemone. That's just how it is, y'all. But if you're going to try it, here's the method that has worked best for me time and time again. The first step is pretty basic. You want to make sure you properly acclimate your clownfish so that he isn't all stressed out or dying when you're trying to set him up with your anemone. Now I floated my maroon clown, Brutus, for about 30 minutes so that he get accustomed to the temperature of my tank water. Next, I use drip acclimation to get Brutus accustomed to the parameters in my aquarium. I usually continue until I double the volume of water in the container. This took about another 20 to 30 minutes. I actually use a gravel vacuum to introduce clownfish to anemones. I simply take the cap off the end, shove it in a tank, and fit it over the anemone, and take my net and introduce the clownfish. Now I'm paying attention to see when this clownfish starts to make a lot of contact with the anemone. Right now, he's really staying away from it, and anytime he touches it, it's just by chance. As you can see, Brutus is now making full contact with his anemone. This is what I was waiting for. I can go ahead, remove the tube, and these guys will go on to live happily ever after. And Brutus immediately flees the scene. <laughs> uh, he's probably just checking out the neighborhood. This is perfectly normal um, for a clownfish to do, and he will return to his anemone in a few minutes more than likely. This fool may be thinking about hosting the Purple Torch. Is Wayne Brady going to have to choke a bit? Yeah, he is definitely hosting the torch. But that's all right. I got another trick up my sleeves, y'all. That's what I thought, Brutus. Get your ass in that amendment. GZM don't play that dumb stuff. What really happened was, I went to bed defeated and woke up to the sight of Brutus getting all up in his nymph. Uh, saying that I was a happy man is an understatement. So, go ahead and try out the gravel vacuum tube method, and uh, if that doesn't work for you, you can always pull out that chopper and just let off a few rounds. That'll get his ass in there. Do awesome shit. Uh -huh.